Val, hard fought win over Montpellier last weekend. How much confidence can Gloucester take from that into another big game this weekend? I think one of the main reasons why we were successful last week was uh, we played the fundamentals right. We understood what the game is all about. You know, it's about defence, our set piece, working together, uh, outworking the opponents, and being there with each other for 80 minutes. Uh, I think that was one of the principles of why we won. And, you know, that's definitely what we're going to need against Toulouse. Um, our set piece was there. Uh, I think our defence, our energy just to find work. We weren't just uh, sticking there, just going through the phases, waiting for opportunities. We took those opportunities, it feels if offensively, defensively. And with the game today at such a high level, um, it's those small moments which teams can utilise those spaces, those, those little... Those little uh, pieces of work which goes unseen if it's that breakdown, if it's Billy Twelve Trees getting up and running to the other side of the field, you know, to create that extra space. These are the small little moments that create space and create opportunities. And no player in that 15, in that 23, even if they came on, uh, was hiding away, shying. Everyone was looking for work, everyone was prepared to put 100% in and not worry about fatigue, not worrying about mistakes, which there was a lot of in the first half. But, you know, we we played with a no-fear type of mentality. We wanted to tackle, we wanted to create opportunities, we wanted to work, and that's why we did so well. Uh, and you look at that front row as well. You were the senior man within that, but Todd Gleave and Kieran Knight alongside you. How big is the test going to be for them again this weekend? And have they got to be even better than they were last Saturday? Obviously, every 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 player needs to be better. Um, it doesn't really matter if you're playing a better side or worse side. This team, the best thing about this team is that we constantly want to improve. No player comes in and says, oh, I did this well, and is complacent and says, oh, I want to do that again. The, every player here, which is one of the main reasons why I signed here, was that every player here wants to get better. Every player is looking at those small little details. It might not be a big factor. It might not be a, f a fitness issue or a strength issue, but it could be a technical issue. For some players, it might be a strength issue. Some players, technical. Some players, mental. Every player is trying to look for those small little margins to get better at what they did wrong, how it impacted the game, and if they did it right, how it would have impacted it differently. And that's what this week has all been about. You know, there's what we did well, we shake our hands after the game, we say, well done. And on Monday, it's back to the drawing board. Every player here wants to be great. Every player wants to achieve something. But, you know, for, for, for me, I know for myself, I just uh, I take a look at the game, I look over it, I shake hands with some of the boys, and then it's next to the next thing. What we could have done better, what I did wrong, what he did wrong, what I did right, what he did wrong, or what he did right and I did wrong. And what can we do to make it better? Because against Toulouse, I think the last time we won, uh, sorry, the last time we played and we lost because we, I think we were amazing for about 50 minutes. And then after that, you know, a lot of teams we play, you know, if you play the first 50, 60 minutes amazingly and you create some type of score line, you know, you're able to control the tempo, control these. But with one of the best sides in the world, you can't do that. You need to be on point here for 80 minutes. And we've uh, rocked off uh, defensively. Our physicality was no longer there. And they were able to get mount pressure on us. And they're slowly coming back into the game. And unfortunately, we lost that. So now we know it's going to be 80 minutes. And we're very excited by that possibility of being able to play for 80 minutes. And everybody putting their bodies on the line. You know, it's, it's a great test but also a very great opportunity. And you, you talk about that and the learning that's required as well. I mean, just how, how key is that to delivering that 80-minute performance? Because you could argue that you know, Gloucester have, have, have produced it in halves, and at the moment you're finishing games actually better than you're starting them, which is, I suppose, the right way in which to do it. But you talk about that, that 80 minutes being you know, the gold name. Yeah, um, well, rugby is a very difficult sport to analyse in that sense because... Sometimes you can't break teams down in the first 40. Sometimes you have to stick in the system, outwork them, outwork them, and then at some point in the game, those breaks, those cracks will appear. So because you don't get a couple tries in or there's mistakes or something, but the best teams can still make mistakes and then adjust on the field, realise why these mistakes happen, and then we all adjust together. And, that's, and those are the most successful teams that can see what the defence is giving you what you have to alter, what you have to change, and all 15 players on the field change and play 
to create, I guess, those opportunities and work for each other.